This is what is hardest, to close the open hand because one loves. It is the most sensual men who need to flee women and torment their bodies. One must still have chaos in oneself to be able to give birth to a dancing star. Is life not a thousand times too short for us to bore ourselves? He who fights with monsters might take care lest he thereby become a monster. Is not life a hundred times too short for us to bore ourselves? What does not destroy me makes me stronger. Some are made modest by great praise. Others insolent. Talking much about oneself can also be a means to conceal oneself. When marrying, ask yourself this question. Do you believe that you will be able to converse well with this person into your old age? Everything else in marriage is transitory. An artist has no home in Europe except in Paris. For art to exist, for any sort of aesthetic activity to exist, a certain physiological precondition is indispensable. Intoxication. There are horrible people who, instead of solving a problem, tangle it up and make it harder to solve for anyone who wants to deal with it. Whoever does not know how to hit the nail on the head should be asked not to hit it at all. All sciences are now under the obligation to prepare the ground for the future task of the philosopher, which is to solve the problem of value, to determine the true hierarchy values. The most common lie is that which one lies to himself. Lying to others is relatively an exception. All credibility, all good conscience, all evidence of truth come only from the senses. In large states, public education will always be mediocre, for the same reason that in large kitchens the cooking is usually bad. If a woman possesses manly virtues, one should run away from her, and if she does not possess them, she runs away from herself. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. Egoism is the very essence of a noble soul. This is the hardest of all, to close the open hand out of love and keep modest as a giver. What is the truth but a lie agreed upon? We hear only those questions for which we are in a position to find answers.
When one has a great deal to put into it, a day has a hundred pockets. The desire to know no one, to harm no one, can equally well be the sign of a just as of an anxious disposition.